password to everything is Spock1234. Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy, the best thing to come out of 2020. And yes, I know the bar is low. You know my guest today from Heroes, from Star Trek, and his new Netflix film, The Boys in the Band, it's Zachary Quinto. Hey Josh, how are you? I'm doing all right. We're, uh, we're surviving over here. I hope you are as well. You look good. Thanks, I feel good. You're I mean, enjoying an orange? You're enjoying... I'm, en a I'm enjoying a, um, an orange in the morning, yeah. There's my dog. Can you show us your pet? Adorable. Hi, buddy. Say hi. Okay. He's a little growler, but it just means that he loves you. And then this is the oh. big guy. This is River. River you found relatively recently on the street, right? I found him in January. Yeah, before things went nuts. He was unclaimed. He had no tags or collar or microchip or anything. And so I, I gave him a home. It sounds like a very, very elaborate cover story for you just <laughs> wandering the streets, stealing people's pets like Cruella de Vil. All right, I'm excited to say, Zach, I have a new game just for you today. We have never okay. done this before because you, you have a lot of friends out there. But you are going to get some clues, Zach, and you're going to have to guess these video clues who your mystery friend is. Okay. Are you this ready? This is exciting. Zachary Quinto. We both traveled to similar parts of the world, but not always at the same time. It's Matt Bowman. Oh, Okay, wait, for the record, you believe that that shadowy figure, that, that terrorist, I don't know who that was, <laughs> you claim that is Matt Bomer, the dreamy Matt Bomer. All right, let's see clue number two. Zachary Quinto. We've both told an American horror story. Look, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's Matt Bomer. He did appear on American Horror Story, but yeah. it could be Lady Gaga. It could be Kathy Bates. We don't know. Yeah. I'm much closer with Matt Bomer than I am with either Lady Gaga or Kathy Bates. <laughs> All right, clue number three. Let's see, how, let's see if you're right. Zachary Quinto. <laughs> if a stone hits the water and no one is there to see it, does it make ripples? <laughs> ripples. Ripples. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no idea what the fuck Kathy Bates is talking about there. <laughs> Zach, what is that? Is that Matt Bomer? Yeah, 1,000%. Let's, let's see if you're right. Let's see if you're right. Zach, it's Matt. I hope this gave you a really good laugh, and I love you, and I'll see you soon. What a That's lucky hilarious. guess. Yeah, what, do I, lucky do I need to know something? What, what the hell is he talking about? Well, Matt and I have known each other for, I mean, lo over 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of permutations of nicknames for one another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my current nickname for Matt is Ripples. Matt's one Amazing. of my favorite people, and that's very sweet of him to have made me laugh as hard as he did. Um, you ready for another challenge, another game? Mm -hmm. I, got my, I got my iced coffee. I'm ready. <laughs> I, I moved on from my orange <laughs> to my iced coffee. You were well caffeinated. I'm going to name the project you've been in. You tell me the name of the character you were in. I want to see if you know uh, your own career. Feel confident? I should feel confident, but suddenly I don't. Touched by an Angel. Who did you play in Touched by an Angel? I was like a construction worker. I got that job on 9-11, 2001. 9-11 happens. We're in like a like a panic yeah. and at like six o'clock that evening my manager calls and is like well you got it <laughs> like, she's like you booked it you booked touched by an angel and i was like joan great what? she's like you're leaving tonight i was like no they're not i'm not what are you talking about um my character's name in touched by an angel <laughs> was my Michael Michael my, my, Mike Michael. Doran to be precise oh shit that's life who did you play in that's life that's life is that the one with Paul Sorvino you tell I me I played I played <laughs> and Ellen Burstyn come oh, on the great oh. Ellen Burstyn and Paul Sorvino yeah. I played a a school mascot I played a, a chicken well the chicken is credited as being sleazy guy oh my god why what about um, Lizzie McGuire? You were credited as... Yeah, the director. 
Director. See, yeah, that's the one you get. Director. <laughs> These are haunting. These are haunting. Six feet under? Art student. I was hip credited student. As a hip you were a hip student. student. I was a hip student, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Charmed? Warlock. <laughs> That was like the beta, the beta test for like heroes, basically. That was like the, <laughs> it's like the precursor to Siler. And and finally, uh, girls. Ace. There you go. That's a, that's a legit. That's that's easy about. to remember. That I'm yeah. that I'm that I'm proud of. <laughs> I love. I also love that we've been going so long that we're on our second orange. We're gonna move on to another orange. Yeah. Harold, this very memorable character you mm. play in Boys in the Band, has a very memorable hairstyle, and it continues your hair journey throughout your career of interesting hairstyles. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Which one of your modified looks over the years has affected your, your own personal life the most? Yeah, shaving my eyebrows for months on end when I'm doing a Star Trek movie is certainly the most intrusive, kind of like, you know, burdensome um, alteration that I need to make, especially when you have eyebrows like this. And it's not even like I shave them all. I shave like, like, like that much. So it looks like that, you know, when I walk around like that for five months or whatever it is, I always am like, I'm doing a movie. I mean, what can I tell you? But, uh, and by now I think people get it, you know, but, uh, yeah. but we'll see. I, who, knows if, who knows if I'll ever have to do that again. It is time to confide in each other secret truths. This, yeah. Zach, is Quarantine Confessions. My name is actually Zachary Sexto. Quinto is fifth in Spanish. Sexto is sixth. My toilet broke six weeks ago. I've been holding everything in ever since. My publicist told me I was going to be on Hot Ones. Where the fuck are the wings? Sometimes I go to Starbucks and say my name is Dave because I'm a goddamn rebel. My password to everything is Spock1234. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> some would you rather questions for you, some provocative love questions. It. You ready? Love okay. it. Love it. Would you rather have permanent Spock eyebrows or no eyebrows at all? No eyebrows at all. Uh, would you rather have dog breath for the rest of your life or never pet a dog again? Oh, oh God. I mean, would I be able to to like use tools to control my dog breath? Like, can I brush my teeth? Um, it's so powerful that no toothpaste can control it, sorry. I would never not be able to pet a dog for the rest of my life, so I'm gonna take dog breath for the rest of my life. Fair enough, we're gonna get the surgeons on it. Um, would you, <laughs> I know you like to play banjo, would you rather have banjos instead of arms or a banjo-shaped body? <laughs> what? I mean, I think I would need to have a banjo-shaped body because you can't play a banjo with a banjo. Right, it'd be like clanking you know? against each other. Yeah, yeah. My banjo there. Oh, nice. Would you rather legally change your name to Siler Spock or Frank Fartface? I mean, I guess I have to say Siler Spock, but like that's Oh, wow. Just, oh, what, that's... You think, you think I'm going to change my name to Frank Fartface? Well, F Fartface is with a PH. It's not... It's not oh, you, didn't, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, yeah. It's French. <laughs> This is the Dakota Johnson memorial question. She posed this to me on a previous episode. Would you rather have a mouthful of bees or one bee in your butt? In your butt? Or like, just like around your butt, like in your butt crack? I, I think it's inside of you. It's, it's Inside it's... your butt hole? <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna see what it feels like to have a bee in my butt. Something tells me it's not gonna last long up there. Do you know what I mean? Over the years, have you gotten strange kind, of, particularly strange requests, given like the sci-fi roles? Like, do you get the like the like? Oh, I would pay you a million dollars to officiate my wedding as Spock. I would one hundred percent do that. So please, <laughs> please bring them. I will do my own hair and makeup. I will go wherever you're getting married for a million dollars. Are you kidding me? What do I got to do? It's not even a question. It's like, no, uh, yeah. I should start that business, actually. <laughs> I should initiate that myself. We have discovered so much about you today. I thought I knew everything there was to know about Zachary Quinto, but now I know that you love bees in your butt, and I know that you will perform weddings as Spock for a million dollars. For sure. Starting at a million. <laughs> okay. That's my, um, that's my starting rate. <laughs>